Here I am at Normis Parfit Studio about the race between the Armoury Gym and the train at Mount Snowdon. So at 5am one Saturday morning we headed to Mount Snowdon, the highest mountain in North Wales and one of the UK's Three Peaks Challenge. The Mount Snowdon train goes from Lamberis, which is here, and is scheduled to take one hour to reach the top of Snowdon, which is here. The running team, Team Payne, will be starting here at Penwy Pass and will take the 4 mile miners trail to the top of Snowdon. Now a normal good standard non-professional runner can cover 4 miles from about 25 to 35 minutes, but Team Payne are running 3,560 foot up the side of a mountain. Now a lot of people thought we were running ground like this, or this, but it was actually more like this like this and this. For this race it takes one member of one team to reach the summit first for their team to win. The first couple of miles for Team Pain are essential. Very few know what lays ahead so their average speed will fluctuate pending the terrain. So as the train sets to leave and the runners get to the starting line, who will reach the summit first? As Team Train starts to leave, Team Pain also sets off. As Team Pain worked their way around the stunning valley path, Team Train was at their consistent speed that would be held all the way to the top of their one hour journey, oblivious that Team Pain have gained an early lead. The other way over there. It's not just the obstacles of mountain terrain that will be in the way of Team Pain, many other walkers of the path will also be making their own way up. As Team Train had taken in some of the amazing sights on the way up to Snowdon, unaware that Team Pain have already covered over two miles and are already over halfway. Still ahead, Team Pain are well on their way to the summit. But as Team Train continue their steady climb, reaching the halfway point at 30 minutes, Team Payne's terrain begins to change dramatically. Here, Team Payne has low level rock climbing to do on their way to the top. Team Train starts to make some serious ground as Team Payne's path gets harder and harder and harder. With other people on the path, Team Pain has even more work to do. And the air is getting thinner. And for what seems like fog, is actually the cloud line as they get over 3,000 feet. Team Train is relentless with its steady one hour climb. And Mount Snowden is relentless with the climb up the miners path as Team Pain closes in on the summit. Here, Team Payne is in sight of the junction with the railway line, but as they meet it, Team Train is nowhere to be seen. Inside the hour, has Team Payne done it? With the final few hundred metres, Team Payne runs into more human traffic. As Team Train arrives at the station,
Ting Peng's fastest runner had arrived at the summit in an amazing 56 minutes. He had broken the hour mark with time to spare, a tremendous achievement. But Team Train, who was scheduled to take one hour, had arrived eight minutes early. Despite the tremendous efforts of Team Pain, Team Train had won. Which means the Armoury Gym's Team Pain will have to try again next year. Shop on my way 